Oh, hi there, everyone. Good morning. Um, I wanted to talk about my Facebook page for a second. Um, I forget when. It was like a couple of weeks ago. I uh, posted a picture of myself uh, wearing this Clockwork Orange t-shirt. Um, to that movie, it means different things to different people because people interpret things differently. Um, uh, I'm not going to get into the movie too much. A lot of people go, well, you were wearing that t-shirt. Um, you were deemed a voluntary patient uh, some time ago. Um, you haven't um, been required to take medication for a number of months. Um, don't you think that's a bit of a silly thing to do to post a video or, you know, a picture of yourself on the Facebook wearing that t-shirt um, to some people that would uh, be an unwise idea but for me all that it means is it's just a fuck you to uh, mental health a well-deserved one I might add um, like this shirt, I didn't go out of my way to find it. I uh, went to the Sunrise. Uh, that's the DVD store that uh, took over um, the position that HMV had. Um, it's not, um, they didn't buy out HMV. They just, uh, you know, they're the, they're the replacement. So they, they don't have anything to do with HMV. But, like, they only sell, like, I don't know, maybe 10 different shirts, and I just happened to notice this one. Like, I didn't even go there for that specific uh, reason. I, uh, I just went, oh, I'm at, uh, at this mall, and I uh, want to go into the sunrise and have a look around. I also bought Wolfman um, and uh, a couple other DVDs. Uh, I have a vast DVD collection. I have over 600 DVDs. Um, but yeah, some people looking at this shirt will, you know, view it from a different point. Um, I don't exactly even remember all that much of the movie. Like, uh, I've seen it maybe two, maybe three times, you know, from start to finish. Uh, I have seen the, uh, odd clip on, um, on YouTube, uh, you know, periodically not even that often um, you know it it was a movie it's not even a particularly good one I uh, like um, I was wearing this shirt uh, yesterday actually and I was having a um, uh, well what had happened was uh, I had this weird head feeling where like I, it felt like I was gonna faint. Like uh, everything was just sort of, it was getting blurry, and um, I don't know how to describe it. It's um, I just uh, like it really felt like I was gonna have a seizure or faint or something like that. Uh, I don't know much about medical stuff, so I figured, well, what if it's a stroke or something? So I, you know, was touching my left side and my right side, going, well, I don't think it's that because I can talk proper and do this. I mean, you you. You must have seen the commercials they got on the television about that sort of stuff. Uh, anyway, so I figured, well, I better tell management, better have a sit down. And um, I did. Uh, I noticed my depth perception was messed up. Like, uh, I've seen things seem closer than what they should have been. Like, and I wear glasses, so I know all about depth perception. Um, also, I happen to be by the cooler, uh, you know, the cooler doors to the uh, grocery department I work in and they're just covered with flaps so when someone walked through it like all of a sudden I felt really cold and I normally don't feel that way and um, I figured it warranted uh, calling um, medical services uh, so I, I call these guys uh, they show up they check uh, you know my breathing my um, my heart rate, my blood pressure. Uh, they prick me in the finger to check for uh, like my blood sugars. Uh, the dude said some things I you know didn't quite understand. Like 
uh, I guess his, you know, his coworker did understand him because they know each other, but, you know, it didn't seem to make much sense to me. They didn't say anything of any use to me. Uh, they said, well, look, um, we don't think there's any immediate problem. Uh, you can either go back to work or you can come to hospital. And uh, I said, look, I got to make money, so I'm going back to work. If you don't think I'm going to collapse or something like that, um, then it should be fine. But I really hope this isn't a regular occurrence or it's going to get worse or something like that. Uh, because, you know, that would uh, obviously be something I don't want. Uh, but the guy, he, he looked like a fucking jackal, to be honest with you. I, you know, didn't entirely trust him. And um, I don't want to be insulting, but it was the truth. Um... Yeah, he, he, I mentioned the sore throat thing that I've had for four years, and as I suspected, he didn't even want to address it, didn't want to talk about it, didn't want to do anything. Like, I made it a point of saying, look, I've dealt with mental health professionals for over six years, I know how they talk, I was observing when they were observing me, and um, I don't think he expected that, I think he just thought I was another idiot. But I gotta tell you something, man. It takes balls of steel to uh, walk out of mental health, you know, with the kind of social media I've had. Uh, post a video of yourself with a clockwork orange t shirt, essentially giving the fuck you to mental health and, you know, being cool with it. Um, it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, being a successful white guy, not bad looking. Um, there are gonna be people out there that want to boot you in the balls. Uh, that's that's a given for any white guy. Uh, but for me, oh yeah, definitely. There's someone out there that wants to boot you in the balls. That's for damn sure. Um, and you know, I have been a loner uh, for a number of years, not by choice. And like the thing is. Um, I did make it a point to look up, um, um, you know, police women uh, booting suspects in the balls. Um, kind of an awkward subject, but uh, like even if you thought it looked attractive on the TV or on the computer, um, in practice, it, it's not. It would uh, it'd be most unpleasant. The whole handcuffs, batons, uh, the attitude they bring, um, you know, none of that is attractive. And, um, I know that's not what some people want to hear, um, but it, it honestly isn't. It's like, all you want to do is like have nothing to do with that kind of a woman. Um, you know, um... Yeah, so, um, anyway, all that in consideration, getting back to the shirt now, it is just a shirt. It doesn't even have any specific meaning for me. I have many shirts. I just bought a Bruce Springsteen shirt. Uh, I bought a, a, a Kona Pop t-shirt. Um, I think they had one song that I didn't mind. I think it was on a roll. I think I made a video about that, actually, where I was talking about uh, it being on Loblaw's uh, radio and it um, being kind of a weird song because they were talking about uh, walking out the door not paying for stuff because they were rock stars. Um, anyway, that's getting back to that video. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, this is uncertain subject for me because, um, you know, I, I don't know who's watching my videos. And I don't know what kind of, uh, you know, uh, opinion they're going to have and uh, how they're going to go about doing things. I mean, I won't wear the damn shirt anymore if you don't want me to. It doesn't mean anything to me. Um, well, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, clear that up with some people because... Um, a lot of things could be taken from that uh, that movie and um, you know put 
out of context and uh, people will get the uh, wrong idea of things. Um, yeah, well, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of stumped here. I, you know, I, maybe it's a bit of a brain fart or something like that. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I've um, got some legitimate concerns. Like, uh, I have been spoon fed uh, certain imagery on. Uh, on the Facebook and on the YouTube, uh, particularly on the Facebook from a forum called Dark Side Memes, uh, not entertaining. I don't find their jokes funny, and um, they keep pushing for it, but you know, I just, I'm, I'm not amused. Uh, I don't learn very much from them, and uh, you know, they're just not very good. And on the YouTube side of things, uh, some things keep showing up on my newsfeed that I don't ask for. Like, I have no interest in Batman Arkham Knight, or whatever it's called, where Batman is taking the identity of a villain, and he's in, uh, like, a robot costume, and Harley Quinn and the rest of them are getting some sort of electroshock therapy. Uh, the, the YouTuber that uploaded it is a guy named Mr. Custodian. Um, like, I could download uh, that season or series um, and watch some of it and get some sort of idea, but, you know, I'm not even particularly interested. I, I don't even like the Harley Quinn character. Um, yeah. Uh, that's uh, one thing. I also did see another cl quick clip of American Dad, where um, I forget what that kid's name is. What is it, Stan? Anyway, I, I never liked that TV show in the first place, mostly because of Roger. Roger's just not funny. Um, but anyway, in this particular clip, um, the, the father it puts the shock collar around uh, the, around his son's neck, and he has to go ask this girl out uh, before it explodes. And why that's relevant to the Batman Arkham Knight is it's the same sort of thing, because one of the villain's heads exploded because of the, the, the shock collar around his throat. And, um, you know, it led to um, his head being blown up. Uh, so there's some sort of parallel between, um, the Batman episode and the American Dad one, and, um, yeah, Stan, uh, he ends up asking the girl out on a date, but not before everything goes white, and I would assume that means intense pain, but I don't know, I didn't watch that episode of American Dad, and I didn't watch that episode of Batman. Uh, I'm just not particularly interested. Because uh, if people think I have the time to sit down and watch a full movie, you'd be wrong. I'm at work 55 hours a week. It takes years to completely get off of uh, the mental health medication uh, and get back to some sort of normal sort of uh, atmosphere. Uh, physically. I'm talking about like sleeping regular hours, uh, being able to eat properly, having good energy levels, and um, also erectile dysfunction. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, go ahead and laugh about it, you assholes. Uh, don't matter. There's more than one way to be a prick. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I would watch uh, those uh, particular episodes from the cartoon series at some point. But, you know, I'm not in any immediate hurry and I don't really care. But, yeah, getting back to I don't have time for things. Like, yeah, 55-hour work week, erratic sleeping pattern, 
because of uh, my physical condition. Um, yeah, it just, you know, and it inhibits my ability to really sit down and watch something. Uh, I do like watching Murdoch Mystery. Um, it's one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, I did like watching Elementary. Uh, there were a number of other shows that I really enjoyed. Even NCIS is starting to grow on me a little bit, but I don't particularly like it. I mean, I like LL Cool J, but um, uh, Deke's uh, a little bit annoying. I guess, I guess he's an alright guy, though. I just remember him from uh, Beer Fest and him being a prick in that. Um, I mean, I guess that's what you'd expect from the guy, but um, I don't know. I, um, yeah, I still don't like him for it, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, I brought up a number of things in this video, as I have done on my channel as well. And, um, I feel this particular subject of me wearing this t-shirt, I've given it as much acknowledgement as I have to. Uh, some people think, oh, he must know that movie word for word, like the back of his hand, this, that, and the other. I don't. Uh, like, when I said I watched it two, three times, yes, but like, over the span of maybe like 15 years I've watched it. Um, like, I couldn't even, like, tell you how old I was when I first watched it. I was probably in, in my early 20s. Um, I, I don't honestly remember. Um, so, yeah, it's not that I have a problem wearing this t-shirt. It's not a problem that I can, you know, stare someone right in the face who uh, works in that particular profession wearing this t-shirt, having some vague notion of... Uh, what they might be thinking none of that bothers me at all but it is a legitimate concern that somebody may see me wearing this t-shirt and uh you know get the wrong idea or be in the wrong mindset or whatever but it is stupid i mean at, at my workplace and things like that oh they all know me i've worked there for 10 years Never been a problem. It's, uh, you know, a little creep downtown wearing a fucking hoodie that you gotta be uh, more concerned about. Not a fucking guy wearing loud, colorful clothing like me. Ain't nobody else wear a fucking Derek Bougard jersey downtown. And I do that with absolute confidence because I know absolutely nothing will happen. Especially during the day. I don't know about so much at night, but uh, during the day, absolutely nothing is going to happen while I wear that jersey. Nothing should happen anyway, but, um, you know, some people are unpredictable, and some people are cunts. Uh, they can't help it, they just are. And, um, I don't know, uh, I think I can read certain situations properly, and, you know, act accordingly. Um, yeah, based on what I've said, not just in this video, but, um, also the other videos I've made, I've made over 350 of them, uh, there are going to be people who just don't like me at all and want to cause me grief. I don't have grief, piss off. I know me saying that's not going to get rid of them, but, um... You know what? Um, them doing what they do isn't going to stop me. Um, it's not going to stop me making YouTube videos. It's not going to change my opinion on things. And I'm not going to be deceived by them. Uh, like, I don't know. You know some people, they just um, they can't accept when they're wrong. And uh, you can't get a word in edgewise. They're just not going to listen. They're going to put up walls, they're going to be OCD, and you're just not going to get through to them. 
And this brings me back to the point that I keep making, which is the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. The unstoppable force is going to win. It is going to find a way around the immovable object. Um, yeah, it's just, um, you know, you gotta, gotta play your cards right and, you know, don't be too greedy. And, you know, everything should be fine. I like to think of myself as Chuck Norris. We're playing a chess game, and this is Checkmate. So, do kindly. Fuck off. Um, anyway, if you guys like my video, hit the subscribe button. If you do not like the video, but you wish to hit subscribe anyway because you hate me, you're welcome to do that as well. I would uh, appreciate any constructive criticism, even if the person is an intellectual inferior. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. I plan on making a video more orientated towards hockey. Uh, I do have to go to work somewhat soon, but I think I have time to make a hockey video. Um, anyway, talk to you guys later. Um, I'm going to retire this shirt for now. Um, I mean, I have plenty of other shirts to wear, so... I mean, this one actually doesn't fit that good anyway. And in the collar, I don't particularly like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I could see this shirt getting worn out quite quickly. So, um, yeah, anyway, all that aside, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. See ya.